Last year at the Tour of Britain, Cy took a very close look at Bradley Wiggins' brand new, effectively, race bike. This is the Pinarello Dogma F8 of Sir Bradley Wiggins. He's just taken delivery of it with his new limited edition paint job. Well, this is the spare bike that he's using, or not using as the case may be, here at the Dubai Tour. Now, it is pretty much identical, apart from it looks very different. And that's because the paint scheme is completely different. The black and the gold of the other bike, still bits of gold in this one, but as you can see, predominantly white. But he has got the full SRAM Red ETAP group set on this bike as well. So I has previewed that for you as well, just before it came out. But I understand from Brad that he's getting on with it very well indeed. Now, a couple of interesting points on this bike. That stem up there is Most, which is an in-house Pinarello brand. I thought it was 14 centimetres, but I'm pretty sure on measuring it that it's 14.5. Now that is an incredibly long stem, but Brad does need it because he goes down a frame size to what would probably be suited for somebody of his height. So this is a 56 centimetre F8 frame. Normally you'd expect someone of his height to go onto a 58, but he wants to get nice and low at the front in that ideal position for him. So as you can see, he has got that stem slammed here. Now this is an older stem from most and they will be upgrading it soon. I understand that is why the mechanics haven't as yet cut off this extra couple of centimetres of steerer tube there at the top. Now the bars are actually reasonably wide. I've measured them as 46 centimetres edge to edge. So bucking the trend recently of pro riders going for narrower handlebars for aerodynamic benefits. Once again, the grip tape provided by Physique goes all the way up right to the stem, which means he can't actually have any kind of Garmin mount or any other head unit mount onto those bars. Now the saddle is a TT specific Arione provided again by Physique. He prefers that so he can get into that nice low position uh, tucked over the front. The wheels are provided by team sponsor Zip. Currently on here, we've got the 404s, but they do of course have the choice of other rim depths as well. And on the wheels, are a set of Conti Pro Limited tubular tyres. Now on the sidewall there, it says 22 millimetres, which again bucks the trend of much larger tyres these days. But having you measured them, they do come up closer to 24 or even 25. There's a slight discrepancy between the front and the rear. Now one thing which Brad has, which is different to all of his teammates, are his pedals. So as you can see, they are from Speedplay. The rest of the team are on Shimano Dura-Ace. And that was the same actually when he was with Team Sky. So there's obviously something about these pedals which he particularly likes. They're put on cranks, which are only 170 millimeters in length. We've done a couple of bits on GCN here in the past couple of months about uh, crank length. He's obviously experimenting with that shorter crank length to try and get more aero, and that's what he'll be using over on the track as well, which of course is his main aim for the year. Now in terms of the finishing kit, we've got elite bottle cages here and a couple of K-Edge components, one to stop the chain dropping off and the other one, a rather neat uh, number plate here which fixes to the back of the brake. Now in terms of measurements, I've given you the crank length and the bar width, but he's running a saddle height which is quite frankly enormous, 83.5 centimetres. Now I am not dissimilar in height to Brad, he's probably about one centimetre taller than me, but that is three and a half centimetres higher than I normally run my saddle, so he has got some enormous enormously long levers and I think probably a relatively short torso for his height because the reach of this bike is about 60 centimetres which is a couple of centimetres shorter than someone like Marcel Cattell. Now in terms of the weight, 3, 2, 1, there it is for you right now, 7.210 kilograms. Very respectable for a second bike, I think you will agree. Now, if you would like to see Cy taking a look at his first team bike last year at the Tour of Britain, you can find that by clicking just up there. And if you want to see Cy taking a first look at this SRAM Red ETAP group set, you can find that down there. And in the middle, about there, is a subscribe button. If you click on that, you will subscribe to the channel for free, and you'll get loads of great content for free. Oh, and give this bike a thumbs up down below if you like it.